Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, my name is Tanika. In today's video, I am going to be doing a full face using Astralis Cosmetics. If you didn't know, Astralis is an Australian brand. It is one of the leading brands at Priceline Stores, which is the drugstore here in Australia. I have been using their products for years and thought it's about time I did a full face showing off some of their amazing products. Now, I did have quite a lot myself, but I needed a few little extras. So I reached out to Astralis and they were kind enough to send me some things for this video. So I am really excited to play with the new items that I have. Astralis is a cruelty-free brand and a lot of their products are vegan as well. They have such a great range and everything is really affordable, which is why I have been drawn to it personally my entire makeup life. I had a quick look at their website and they do ship internationally. At the moment though, they are only shipping to the USA, the UK and Canada. But if you live in New Zealand, Singapore, Indonesia or Canada, you can actually find their products in stores. So go check out their website if you wanna know more. Otherwise, if you wanna see how I created this look and what I think of some of these Astralis products, then keep on watching. Okay, starting out with primer, I have the Color Click color correcting primer and this is in the green shade so what green does is it neutralizes redness so as you can see on my face here i'm quite red from breakouts and just sensitivity so using a green primer is one of my favorite things to do to help neutralize everything so that when i put my foundation on i don't have to go overboard to try and cover up the redness because that is what the primer has done. So I'm just going to take a little bit of this throughout the center of my face. It is a beautiful feeling primer. It's very velvety on the skin, quite similar to the Hourglass Mineral Veil, if any of you have tried that. I find it fills in the pores a little bit too, which is why I love to use it around my nose. And then to take the color correcting one step further, they also have these Color Click Concealers. I have the green shade yet again, but it also comes in a lavender and a peach. So with this, I like to just get a brush and take a little bit off. And see these bigger blemishes here that are quite red? I'm going to put a little bit of concealer onto those just to help neutralize those spots because the pigmentation there is a lot darker. This would have to be my favorite color correcting concealer because it is a very pale green. It's quite pastel compared to a lot of other green color correcting concealers on the market. And this just works really well with my fair skin because the color isn't so dark, my foundation is able to cover it very easily. For my base, I have some products from the Fresh and Flawless range, starting with the Full Coverage Foundation. This foundation is amazing. I do have a full review on my channel that I will link down below if you want to go watch it. It is so full coverage, really lightweight on the skin, so it's very breathable, but the longevity of this foundation is friggin' amazing. It lasts on my skin for like 11 plus hours. It's very heat proof as well, like sweat resistant. So if you live in a hotter climate or you need a good summer foundation that's going to last, this is where it's at. So I have the shade Fairest in this foundation. It is a little warm for me. You can probably see there that it does have quite a yellow undertone, but the next shade down is a bit too cool for me. I'm more of a neutral undertone, so I'm right in the middle there. If you need a product to lighten your foundations, Astralis actually has these Match Maker shade adjusting drops, and I use them all the time. They are so good for making any foundation lighter. They don't change the consistency or the formula of your foundation at all. They just make it lighter. They're friggin' amazing. Then I have the Fresh and Flawless Concealer in the shade Fair. Now, unfortunately, this concealer wasn't as much of a win for me as the foundation was. I find the coverage just isn't as much as I would like. It is more on the light to medium side and it just can look a little dry under my eyes, unfortunately. So it's not my favorite, but it is a nice fair shade. 
And then I have the Fresh and Flawless Powder in the shade Light Beige. This is a super long lasting matte finish powder. It has been raved and raved about amongst the Australian drugstore community for years now. Ever since I have been watching YouTube, I have seen people rave about this powder. Back in the days when Brittany Lee Saunders was a beauty YouTuber. Anyone else remember that? So I'm going to take this powder under the eyes and then through the T-zone and then lightly put some on the rest of my face to set the foundation in place. Then for some complexion products, I have some new ones here I haven't tried yet. First up is the Sweet Like Chocolate Scented Bronzer. I have the shade Ganache Gold, and I believe that this does come in three different shades. Now this is a matte bronzer. I'm going to go in with my Zoeva 126 Luxe Cheek Finish Brush and just start with a light hand. Okay, that is blending out so beautifully. I am hardly applying any pressure and that just looks gorgeous. The color is really nice for my fair skin too. It's not too warm and orange. I'm going to put a little bit up into my hairline just to add a bit of warmth back into this fair skin. And then for blush, I have the Strawberries and Dreams Scented Blush in the shade Peaches and Cream. This is also a matte finish. Now I'm going to take my Zoeva 132 Luxe Powder Finish Brush and this looks pretty pigmented. So I'm just going to very lightly go in. Yes, that is applying quite a bit of color for how little I picked up. Next for highlighter, I have the Let's Get Lit Highlighter Kit, and this is in the shade Hangover Cure. It does say it's for medium to dark skin tones, so obviously that's not me. <laughs> This is like a gold and then you've got a bronze here. I would never be able to use that. But this gold I might be able to get away with. So let me just give it a swatch. Hmm. Look at that. It is beautiful though. Look at that sheen. I think it's just going to be a little bit too dark for me. I want to try it though. Because that... That is a really beautiful metallic finish. It's not chunky, which, look, if you've been around my channel, you would know how picky I am with drugstore highlighters because they are chalky, they are chunky, and they are glittery. But this feels super smooth, and I'm loving that finish. All right, I'm going to take this Morphe brush here. It's the E61. It's like a giant fluffy eyeshadow brush. It applies highlighter very lightly, so. Let's see. Okay, I think that gold shade could actually work for me. Look at that. <gasps> oh. If a highlighter is too dark, usually when you look in the mirror, you can see a strip of the dark shade but I'm not seeing that. So I think this could work. Because these are such a high shine metallic finish, they would also make really great eyeshadows. As I said, I'm not going to be able to use that one on my face. So let's give it a swatch and see what kind of eyeshadow it would make. Oh my God, the pigment in that. It is incredibly smooth as well. Next for brows, I have the Incredi Brow Eyebrow Pomade. So this has a pomade on one end, screw it back on, and then a brush on the other. Let's get in there with the brush. Ooh, it's a very soft formula. This is the shade on my hand here. Quite cool toned, which I like. Even though I have red hair, I don't like to go in with a red or an auburn brow product. I prefer more of a cool tone blonde. The brush on this seems quite thin. So let's go in and see how it goes. 
I actually haven't used a pomade in a while. I've been all about the pencil. Let's see. Okay, so far I'm liking the color. I'm just drawing small strokes that look like hairs because I don't want to go in too heavy. It's a very smooth and creamy formula. I'm really enjoying that. This brush is good too. I'm finding it small enough to be able to draw those hair-like strokes. Not bad. Here's a close-up of that brow and the before. I did put a little bit of my Patrick Ta um, brow wax in first to just set my brows in place. Next for eyeshadow, I have the Beach Days palette and this, oh my goodness, the neutral tones in here with the pops of color are just giving it to me. The Astralis eyeshadow palettes are so underrated. I have so many of them. Let me just fetch them. I've got the Neutralize, the Mesmerize. I'm pretty sure this was just a limited edition Girl Boss. I also have the Glamour palette and they did just release a Neutralize 2. So, you know, I've got to get my hands on that. These shadows are just so beautiful and easy to work with. The mattes are really soft and kind of creamy. They just blend so easily. And then the shimmer shades are so metallic. They look beautiful on the lid. But today we have the Beach Days palette. And I just asked over on my Insta stories if you wanted to see a neutral look or a bold look. So let's go see what the results are. Okay, so bold is in the lead at 54%. So I guess we're doing a bold look today. If you aren't already, make sure you come and follow me over on Instagram. It will be linked in the description box below. Okay, I really need to use these greens. Like this shade here is just calling my name. So I'm thinking maybe a little bit of darkness in the outer corner with that green on the center there. Let's go for that, shall we? So starting with this neutral shade, I'm going to run that all throughout the crease. Using dark shadows can be quite scary and I always like to go in with just a very light amount and a light hand, but that dark brown just blended so easily into the first shade that I used. Oh my God. I'm just going to go over the edges of the two shades and make sure they are blended together. And then I can go back in and start building up that darker color. Now I'm not sure how well this green is going to blend into the brown, but let's try it. I'm just going to lightly tap that on the edge of the brown there, just to give a bit of a transition for the bright shimmery green. Then I'm going in with this stunning green shade. Let's give it a little swatch first. Oh, yes. It does have a bit of a gold glitter through it, which is really pretty. I'm going to use this brush here. It's the Sigma E56 Shader Lid Brush. Perfect for metallic shadows. Oh my gosh, that is so bright. Oh yes. What I love about this brush is because it is so thin and precise, you can really lay the shadow down exactly where you want it. So I'm kind of doing a sharp line as if I was doing a cut crease, but without actually having to do a cut crease because that's hard. <laughs> 
And then I'll go in with that dark green and the dark brown to deepen up the outer corner and blend those shades together. Okay, so these are the eyes done. I've also applied a coat of mascara. How friggin' beautiful is that shade? Like, are you kidding me right now? <laughs> All right, onto the lips. I have the, let me see what this is called. It's just the lip pencil in the shade Misbehave. This is a nice nudie color, my favorite. And then for lips, I have a few options, but I think you all know what I'm going to go with. So these are the Girl Boss they used to be called the Demi Matte Lip Creams, but the newest one I bought is now called the Velvet Lip Cream. So this one here in the shade Empower is one of my all time favorite nudes. It is just such a beautiful, more on the cool tone, kind of a pinky shade. Oh my gosh, I just love it. And then this shade here is called Hustle, which is another one of my favorites, but it's more of a deeper, kind of has a more browny tone to it. This formula is so creamy, but it dries down to that Demi Matte formula. So it's super long lasting, but it doesn't give you that dry crackly feeling that matte lipsticks can give. Astralis also has these Girl Boss lipstick bullets. And first of all, how cute is the packaging? And the shades in these are so beautiful, really long lasting, really comfortable. So I recommend those as well. The entire new Girl Boss lip range, there are so many stunning shades. It's a really nice range if you want to check it out. This is just one of those shades that goes with every damn look. If you scroll through my Instagram, I wear it all the time. Another one of their lip products I have recently dipped into is the Girl Boss High Shine Lip Gloss. So this is in the shade Lovebird. And these are quite pigmented lip glosses. And this is also just another beautiful nude shade. So if you're after a more glossy finish, this one is perfect. All right, guys, well, this is the finished look using a full face of Astralis Cosmetics. If you enjoyed, make sure you give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below letting me know if you've tried Astralis or not and what your favorite product is. If you aren't already, make sure you come follow me over on Instagram, subscribe to my channel if you're new, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.